Hey, what is going on, guys? It is your self-proclaimed mediocre Pokemon Master here, Tiggly Man. Today, I'm going to be talking about uh, Generation 7 and what we're going to be doing with the channel moving forward into Generation 8. Just to fill up some screen room, I'm going to be playing a random battle highlight that I had from a real long time ago that I saved. It, uh, it's kind of a twist ending. It's a close match. Kind of cool. Whatever. Okay, so Gen 7 holds a very near and dear, dear space in my heart. Um... One day, my girlfriend and I, like two years ago, were watching a movie outside on a projection screen, and she was playing Pokemon X and Y. Keep in mind, I haven't touched Pokemon since Generation 4 Diamond and Pearl when I was using an action replay to hack my game to get a maxed out Iggly buff, whatever, just for fun. So I was like, you know what? I wanna go pick one up. So next day, I went to Target, and I got Pokemon Ultra Sun and a 3DS, and I started playing it, and I got instantly hooked. There were so much new things, like Gen 5 to Gen 7, I had no idea about these new mods and what was going on, and I also never took a step forward into competitive. Well, I loved the game, I beat it, got all my friends hooked on it, and after I beat it, I was kind of like, well, what now? So, I started watching the likes of Pokey Aimed, A-Drive, Blunder, Mr. Jamvad, OP Jellicent, all the competitive heavyweights and uh, I was trying to see what they were going for how the game works and stuff like that because I I never played competitive Pokemon and I got hooked it is the best strategy game I've ever played and I kind of decided like this is my this is my game of choice and I want to make content on this game I love it and I, I hope more people as time goes on get into this growing franchise so with that said I'm going to very much so miss gen 7 it's funny because as gen generation 7 is ending um i feel like my pokemon competency just kind of got to where i wanted it to be with gen 7 and then boom it's just going to be gone and i have a a bunch of new stuff to learn but luckily all the fundamentals i did learn still stand true i um big big threats in the ou like magirna ultra beasts ash greninja everything that dictated the ou metas from what I know, it's gone. And that's gonna be really crazy. Everyone's gonna be running around like chickens with their head cut off for like a couple days, you know? It'll be wild. But, with that said, I'm very sad about Gen 7. But, moving forward, Generation 8. I am so excited for this game. I have been talking to my buddies about Sword and Shield before like it even had the title, when Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee was out. As soon as that game dropped, we beat it, and we were speculating about the next big Pokemon game, the Gen 8 game, and how this is gonna kind of turn to, to be the best, hopefully, uh, Pokemon game ever created. Now, uh, with the channel, I do plan on doing um, using Elgato and streaming my Nintendo Switch up on the screen and doing Wi-Fi battles. Uh, this will be a new thing versus uh, Pokemon Showdown. Of course, I'll do Pokemon Showdown for team building and stuff, but we'll get into that. So, I do plan on doing a series, uh, Journey to Master Ball. I do want to hit Master Ball tier and Battle Spot singles and VGC. I've I've always played Showdown, but I've never been a high ladder player, and this is something I want to buckle down on. And in Wi-Fi battles, I want to get to the top of the ladder. I've also I did mention VGC, which I haven't touched VGC since I got Gen 7. That was the first competitive meta I got into. But um it, it just really uh I didn't know much about the game to play well online at the time i moved to ou singles and i uh I, I personally feel that is the truest way to play pokemon but their competitive meta game the vgc series um stands because the pokemon company says so so uh i do want to give it a whirl i think with these uh new mons coming in and mons that are eliminated it's gonna be very different i think it's gonna be a lot of fun that's something i want to take a hold on because i don't i haven't done doubles in like over a year so that's something I want to start doing uh, for you guys and to see what I'm capable of. And hopefully you guys will enjoy seeing what I'm capable capable of and watching me grow, hopefully to the top. We will see. And then Battle Spot Singles, I've also never really messed with too much, but OU Singles is kind of my gig. So um, I think it'll transfer well over to Battle Spot Singles. I know there's a lot of different strategies in the mods that are viable and Battle Spot Singles are, more, are, are different than OU. But um, so that'll be a fun learning curve. So we're gonna have Wi-Fi battles, Journey to Master Ball for Battle Spot Singles, which I will be doing first. They'll be the first series I run. And then we'll be doing a VGC a Journey to Master Ball. I also wanted to touch on uh, the online competition the Pokemon Company is doing. I just want to give a shout out to Cerebi real quick for um, putting this on their site uh, called Galar Beginnings. It's going to be a Battle Spot Singles tournament that starts December 6th. 
And uh, this is Pokemon's first online tournament, and I am extraordinarily excited for it. When I was kind of poking around online like last week, I found this, and I thought it was like the coolest thing. So for sure, along with the journey to Master Ball, I'm going to be going over move sets and stuff of sorts for new mons coming in, new strats for battle spot singles. So after the game drops, I'll probably spend four days working on beating it and get my competitive mons and then i'm going to start doing battle spot singles and working on competitive move sets and uh for certain mons and doing certain teams it's not so much going to be uh like pokemon spotlight type things i really want to try to perfect a really good battle spot singles team that's very unique and i'm going to be, ha be using repeat teams to get to the top to see what works i might use a different team every time i don't know yet but um my goal to drain the Master Ball BSS from now until this competition is to get the Master Ball as quickly as possible. If there's a team that works really, really well, you might see in a couple videos. But for the most part, I'll try to keep it diverse for you guys. Um, I will also um, hopefully be able to film my highlights during this competition and stuff of sorts. I'm not 100% certain how well I'm going to do, but uh, we'll find out. Try to get to the top. Um, and then after this, I'll immediately be buckling down into some VGC content, which will be completely like brand new to me especially i haven't touched it in a year and there's a completely new slew load of mons and uh new moves and i'm really excited to see uh the, the way the meta is i've been i've been watching uh pokemon like when they live stream the regionals and stuff like that all the vgc series and i'm so used to the gen 7 and this gen 8 is new new to me like i get to experience like when i got sun and moon a couple years ago i get to experience that all over again but i know what's going on so it's, it's going to be a lot of fun guys and i really hope you're going to take this journey with me and uh yeah be rooting for me in the back but uh without further ado guys i'm just gonna wrap the video up there so i want to let you know what was going on with uh the tickly man channel and uh i'll catch you guys in the ladder later guys